This module considers the critical issues you must consider to guarantee the quality of the execution of your PV installation project. The most critical aspects will be the materials and the execution of the work. The materials should be checked to ensure that you've received the goods requested and that you've received all of them. Check on arrival for faults or defects and check the mechanical and electrical parameters of all the materials in order to avoid early breakdowns. During the execution of the installation project, it's important to plan to avoid delays and to minimise worker downtime. Up-to-date documentation is essential and you should check all workers are using the latest editions of that documentation. Here's a diagram of the different tasks needed to guarantee quality material administration and reception at a PV facility. Usually the work supervisor would ensure that all these things are being done. During material administration, it's important to check that the items in the delivery note correspond exactly with what was ordered. Then check that only what was ordered was sent, and if there are materials that were ordered but not delivered, that that's corrected. Finally, we have to check that payments for materials match up. At material reception, check that what has arrived corresponds to what was ordered. Following this, we'll do visual checking and then there will be checking on electrical and mechanical characteristics of each element. In this slide we have some of the obligations and responsibilities that the work manager would undertake to improve the quality of the PV facility. The work manager should fulfill planning deadlines, check worker documentation and check quality at every intermediate milestone. He should also manage residues and at the end of the work he should do a final check of the whole project. The workers should execute their tasks according to the work orders and they should notify management about every incident and undertake checks assigned to them. A range of specifications of different elements will be needed as part of the quality assurance process. Here we're using panel inspection as an example because the panels are the most expensive element in the installation. It would be possible or impossible to inspect all of the modules delivered to a big plant, so you pick out some samples. These should be subjected to visual, thermal and electrical inspection. The visual inspection is to detect frame defects, glass defects, as well as connection box and cable or connector defects. The electrical inspection tests whether the panel arrays characteristics differ from the technical specifications used for the design, while the thermal inspection of panels searches for cell defects, hot spots or cell bubbles. Thermal inspection of the modules is a simple method to detect faults in the solar panels. The check is a rapid and visual one, using a special kind of camera that highlights thermal hot spots in the panels which might indicate a defect. The picture on the right shows you what defects might look like, the cells highlighted in red. 